Welcome to the Remote Sensing Computer Aided Learning Package, developed in collaboration between Charles Darwin University, the University of Queensland and the University of the Sunshine Coast. This package has been developed with four main modules. What is remote sensing, aerial photo interpretation, spectral signatures and digital image analysis. In addition, we also have some games to play and coming soon we'll be looking at scenario development. So you have the option to click on any of these modules that you'd like to enter to learn more about to start with. So we'll go to what is remote sensing. Now within each of the modules, you'll see that to start with, they give you some learning objectives. Now at this stage, if you've decided that you think you're in the wrong module, you can go back to discover a new module or you can continue as is. So we'll continue to start with by clicking on the arrow down in the bottom right hand corner. Now each module contains between six and eight individual topics and you can navigate between each of those topics at your own pace. So I can select any of these topics that I like simply by clicking on them or I could also choose to expand the table of contents on the left hand side and work my way down there in that manner as well. So for example, if I was to click on what is remote sensing out of the table of contents, it would be within the first topic here, as we see within topic one, which would be the same as clicking on topic one over here. So as you can see, I've just clicked in on a random slide there, and now up in the upper left hand corner of each slide, you'll see at any stage you can go back to discover a new module or change to a new topic. Now what you should learn within the, within the package is that anything written in yellow means that you can click on it to discover some form of animation. Okay, so just as I've clicked on that there, something has popped up. If I go to another slide, I can also see that anything highlighted in blue means that there's a rollover. So I can put my mouse over those different features and you'll see some information popping up. Now I can also move between slides just by clicking either forward down the bottom right hand corner or back down the bottom left hand corner. If I click onto another slide, what you'll also see again if something is highlighted in yellow, so either text as I showed before or a figure, that means that you can click on it and find out more information there as well. Within each topic you'll often see that we have some question slides which means if you're in a question slide, this is your opportunity to, f to get some feedback on your understanding of the concepts. So this one, for example, means that you can type in your answer. It's a short answer question. Submit your answer and then get some feedback on it. Either it's correct or you need to try again. In addition to those questions within individual topics, we also have the final topic of each module is dedicated to purely assessment of your understanding. So you can go through any of these questions here, there's a range of true or false, multiple choice, fill in the gap, all those sorts of questions that you can answer and get a final score at the end just to see how well you're going and figure out what your understanding is like. Again, at the end, you can go back to, to discover a new module and understand a little bit more about the package. On the modules page, you'll also see that we have the opportunity for you to submit some feedback. So if I was to click on the submit feedback link there, what you'll see is it takes you to a short feedback form just to give us a little bit more information and help us with product development into the future. So I hope you enjoy learning through this package and please let us know via some feedback if there's anything that you think we might be able to do to improve it or also let us know about the features that you really love.